Right, so this is National 5 2023. I'm not necessarily going to do every single question in detail here, but I'm pretty much going to focus on things that need some working out. So whether that's a code or a design question where I want to show the thought process or for the web part, um, interpreting some of the HTML and CSS and how that would look on the page, where there's a bit of problem solving involved. First of all, just quickly run through um, systems questions. So this logo is stored as vector graphic polygon is one object important there that we don't miss that so that's the polygon here state two attributes of this object so I said the fill colour and x coordinate I could have said the line colour because you can see it's got a black outline around it um, I could have given it a y coordinate lots of ways I could have described that state the name of one other object used so there's an ellipse there's also text the text would be an acceptable answer there. An email's been intercepted and it ends up looking like this. Describe what's been done to avoid it being understood. Um, so it's been scrambled, turned into a lot of nonsense so that they can't read it. So that means that it's been encrypted. School wants to reduce energy consumption. Pupils are already encouraged to put computers into standby mode. Describe two other methods. This is something, again, that was in a prelim question, some people said, put it into standby mode. Because you didn't read the question properly, it's two other things that you could do. So, you could turn down the brightness on the monitors. The other one, which is a little bit more subtle here, you could set them to switch off at a particular time. So, standby mode and switching off are not necessarily the same thing. So, this was when not in use. I mean, you could have a, a rule, because they're encouraged to put them. So when they are finished with it, but you could say that after a certain amount of time not being used, that it automatically um, shuts down, and shutting down would be different from standby. Although those were the main answers, there were other things that you could um, get be accepted in the in the marking scheme, like if you said things about. Um, Closing background applications and removing external devices or changing it into a sort of low power mode, power settings, that would be alright as well. Snooker uses different coloured balls, each with a different number of points. Um, I don't know if this is somebody's idea of a joke, then you've got a black and white photo of all these snooker balls, you can't see what colour they are anyway. And we've got values between 1 and 7. So we're asked for an extreme value, so you could have 1, or you could have 7. Those would be extreme. Anything that's outside the range would be exceptional. So, so anything that's outside of 1 to 7 would be an exceptional value. So I went for negative 5, you could have said 50, you could have said a million, whatever. Um, and then last one I'm going to do, well, the short questions is, programs being designed to control the gas burner, state the design technique. So it's not a structural diagram because a structural diagram is going to go left to right and is going to have different symbols in it. This has got a loop that's going up with arrows and there's arrows going down here and we've got these parallelograms as the, the input and output. So these things tell you that it's a flowchart.